Well, Farida Nakazwe from NTV Uganda has finally opened up about the pregnancy rumors that have been circulating in the media. I have the details. Well, I also have bad news from Mitano Municipality Member of Parliament, Honorable Francis Zakes Camp. You don't really want to miss on the details. And finally, Ashiba Kalunji has spoken to police and revealed the person who attempted to rape her. I have the details right here on the Buzz UG. How are you doing? Uh, thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. <music> Now, kick-starting with Horrible Francis Zake, uh, Parliament has instructed the Parliamentary Division Police to withdraw the car and other security detail from Mitano Municipality Member of Parliament, Horrible Francis Zake, following his removal as Commissioner. Now, according to the letter signed by the clerk to Parliament, Mr. Adolf Mwesige Kasaija, he has instructed police with immediate effect to withdraw the Parliamentary Commission car from Horrible Francis Zake. However, we haven't had any comment from the spokesperson of Uganda Police, that is Mr. Fred Nanga, not even a comment from Honorable Francis Zake yet. Uh, it should be remembered that in the month of March, 155 members of parliament voted to remove Honorable Francis Zake from the Parliamentary Commission over accusations of assaulting the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among. Well, I'll keep you posted when I get more details about this story. Now, in other news, uh, recently there has been a rumor in the public suggesting that NTV Uganda's Farida Nakazwe is pregnant and Bruno K is behind that pregnancy. However, when Bruno K was recently questioned about that pregnancy rumor, he said he doesn't know about it. Because I am not her. If you want, you will go and ask her. That is her personal life. I don't know if it's true. That's a personal life. Yes. Sina answer chons. Sina answer chons. Yes. Now, Farida Nakazwe has finally cleared the air about all that has been making rounds in the media. Actually, Farida Nakazwe posted that video on her social media platforms and captioned, "When they insist you're heavily pregnant, but you can't trace any HCG." Meanwhile, I'm not getting that HCG abbreviation. Uh, someone should tell me what it means in the comment section down there. I'll be very grateful. Anyway, I think she's trying to show us that she's not pregnant like it had been saturated. You can even see her flat tummy right there. Uh, so I should say that is it from Farida Nakazwe. She's not pregnant as it was being saturated on different social media platforms. You know, I told you I'll keep you posted always and I think I'm on the right track. Now, in other news, uh, so finally, Shiba Karunji has formally reported her attempted rape complaint at CID headquarters in Chibuli, and that was yesterday. Now, police says during the interactions they had with Shiba yesterday, she revealed the suspect and also the details of whatever that happened on that fateful day. And according to police, Shiba refuted the ongoing speculations in sections of the media suggesting that it was Andrew Mwenda who attempted to rape her. And finally, police says their detectives have already commenced with the investigations and very soon, hopefully, they'll get back to us with the findings on this matter. Yes, yeah, so I should say that is an update coming in from Shiba Kalunji's camp about the big story that trended recently. And I'm keeping tabs on this story and trust me, you'll be getting all the details right here on The Buzz UG. What you have to do, subscribe to The Buzz UG just in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember, I told you, you got The Buzz, you got everything. Thank you.